I'm Jessica Roberto, manager of the Holloman Health Innovation Challenge and graduate programs in the UW Foster Schools Burke Center for Entrepreneurship. In a moment, for the first time ever, we'll be sharing with you the in-person awards ceremony for the HIC as we celebrate a fantastic 2022 competition. To each of the student teams who participated, we celebrate your drive to bring new and innovative approaches to health and healthcare problems facing the world today. To the community of judges and sponsors, thank you from all of us at the Burke Center for supporting student work, creativity, and innovation. Now, without further ado, here is the 2022 awards presentation for the Holloman Health Innovation Challenge. Students, you rocked it today. So big applause for all of you for what you pulled off here in person. It was so great to see your prototypes in person and not just on a video on a little box on a screen. So excellent, excellent work. So as we get to the prizes now, let's talk about how the teams were judged. Thank you, Jessica. One page business summary. Everybody turned that in, everybody saw that. I saw a lot of judges taking their notes and they've, they've read those summaries. The 60 second pitch, and you guys rocked it, by the way, I was really impressed with your pitches. Uh, prototype demonstration. Um, and what was the potential for impact? So the judges really considered this all carefully. Um, so let's start going on with the prizes. But first, let's just review the teams, right? Believe Sleeve, uh, BWB, Bioengineers Without Borders, uh, Prosthetics, Bloom, Cath Connect, Custom Mouse, Disha Stay Network, Equinox, Easy Access, Heart X, Instant Connection, Nascent Diagnostics, Nimbus, Push Start, Reset, Simpladoc, Snooze Control, SPO2 for you, got it? Trialable, Ultropia, Expressive Tech, and Zephyr Sleep. Again, you guys were amazing. Great work. So first off, let's start with our best idea prizes the Kent and Lisa Seisha Digital Health Prize. Just so you all have a feel for who they are, Kent is actually the founder of MedInsight, a platform for data warehousing and healthcare analytics. Digital access, digital health is a definite passion. One of the other things they've helped us fund is a digital health workshop that Jessica uh, uh, prototyped, piloted the first time this year. And I do believe there's one team here who came out of that workshop. Yay! <laughs> Uh, so they, they, are, they really walk the talk, and so we are very excited to award the Kent and Lisa Seisha Digital Health Prize to Trialable. Uh, let me come up here, and you have their chat. Nice. And you, yes, you even get, you even wow. get that. Are we taking hands? Are we elbowing? Oh, Are we whatever you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable I'm shaking, shaking hands. Thanks so much. I'm shaking, and we even have a big chair. Wow. Oh. <laughs> so, All right, next up is our best idea for addressing health access and disparities in the Burke Center is uh, sponsoring this prize, I'm very happy to say. So I'm just gonna stay here and award this one too. So the best idea for health, addressing health access and disparities goes to Equinox. Next up, Steve, why don't you come up to the stage to award the Timmy and Jim Holloman Best Idea for Medical, Pro Medical Device Prize. Thank and you. we've made it super easy. 
<laughs> All right. All right. And the winner is Kath Connect. Going to top to our top three prizes. And first, for third place, I'd like to invite up Lisa Solina from Fenwick and West. Okay, perfect. So I will keep this very short and sweet. I know that everyone wants to know who the third place prize winner is. Um, so I'm here from Fenwick and West. We are the Seattle office of a Silicon Valley law firm. And we just help life sciences and technologies companies from the emerging company stage all the way through public company. Basically, we geek out on the rules so you guys can focus on the, your really, really cool ideas and make your dreams come true. So with that, the third place prize winner is Equinox. To announce our second place prize, I'm actually going to invite Amy Sellen back to the stage. And, and I am going to give out this prize on behalf of the Herbert B. Jones Foundation. Normally, for those of you who have been here for many years, know that Michael Bauer is a fixture at our competitions. Michael and the Herbert B. Jones Foundation are pivotal in supporting student entrepreneurship across the state of Washington. I, I heard somebody earlier mention they were in the Jones Accelerator through Wazoo. There you go. That's also supported by the Jones Foundation. They support entrepreneurship at SU, here at the UW, across campus, um, and really across the state. It's amazing how many programs put in a grant request to the Jones Foundation, and they will then fund them to support entrepreneurship. And Michael um, sent me a few talking points here. Um, they have provided funding. Let's see, I actually already talked about that. It was named after the late Herb Jones, who was a small businessman back in his day, 50s, I believe. And the foundation honors his legacy by supporting the growth of small businesses. Um, and Michael is just, he is so excited about what we do, and he is so disappointed. I think this is the first competition, and he, he's at every one of our three competitions. This is the first competition he has missed as long as I have been doing this, since 2013. Um, so he sends his regrets, but he's very excited about what you all are doing here. So without further ado, I will say that the second place prize goes to Cath Connect. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to bring up Meher and Tia from WRF Capital to announce our grand prize winner. Meher. Thank you, Jessica. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here representing WRF, um, Washington Research Foundation. Um, for th those of you who don't know who we are, we're a foundation based here in Seattle, and we support technology commercialization in Washington State, both through 
grants to research institutions in Washington and also through investments in startup companies. And we're huge supporters of this competition. Um, it was a joy to be here today and talk to all of the student teams. It's absolutely true what everybody said in terms of how impressive you all have been. Um, but there's only one first prize winner, and that is Instant Connection. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs>Year after year, probably remember the Jarl Awards, J A R L, judges also really liked, right? <laughs> Simple to the point, not a great name. <laughs> Connie Barassa Shaw, our former director, created this prize to provide recognition for teams that had something interesting, something that could or would become special, but didn't quite make it to a big prize yet. So, this was about seeing the spark in the idea, the, the team, the students. Um, and Connie always saw that in the students. And she really inspired all of us as a team to, to do that as well. Um, after Connie retired several years ago, we renamed the Jarl in her honor, um, since she always saw the spark in the idea, the team, and the students. With that said, we do have a spark prize to award Connie can't be with us tonight either. This is the first HIC she's missed. She actually had foot surgery and is recovering, so ick. Um, so she is unhappy that she has missed this whole thing. But on behalf of Connie, um, I am going to award the, the Spark Award, the Connie Barassashaw Spark Award, to Otropia. <laughs> Again, congratulations to all the prize winning teams and every team who participated this year. You started something new and we cannot wait to celebrate your next milestone. The Burke Center team joins me in thanking our advisory board, our colleagues in the Foster School of Business, the University of Washington, and the wonderful entrepreneurial community across this region for helping make this event possible. We'll see you again in 2023.